Okay, I wanted to thank you You're for welcome. your willingness you. to uh, join us today. So what, what's your initial kind of sense about being up here and how it's feeling? Um, it's feeling fine. I okay. think I think I've had a little anxiety anticipatory to this. I'm not. I've never done this. I'm not familiar with the technique, um, but I've worked on that before I got in the room, and so I'm feeling really very comfortable with it. Okay. Anything you feel we need to do visually, like I talked to you about, to kind of put up a barrier between them and us? I don't think so. I think I'm okay. just going to focus on you. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. So, uh, for the sake of getting a little bit of history, mm -hmm. I know I screened you mm -hmm. yesterday, and I didn't mm -hmm. mention this to the group, that what you are seeing is a bit out of context in that the whole mm -hmm. reason I even let her come up here is I'm pretty confident we can get, get this done in a shorter period of time. But if she were a client, what you're seeing is likely three sessions of work kind of crammed into one here, because we may have spent a whole session doing the history slash clinical intake, then a whole session just working on prep skills. But a lot of why I brought her up here is I did a lot of the history yesterday when we mm -hmm. screened, and I have a pretty good assurance that she has a lot of prep skills already. So we're going to just review them, uh, and we'll see where it goes. Okay. So that being said, uh, working with this idea of history, mm -hmm. uh, reminding you really throughout this process, you can give me as much or as little detail as you feel you want to. That's one of the things that defines EMDR is you don't have to get into this big, long narrative about things. Okay. But you know, it's nice to check in. It's nice for me to have a little bit of a sense of, of where we're going with this work. Mm -hmm. So to review from yesterday, can mm -hmm. you tell me a bit about the incident that it is you want to target? Okay. Uh, when I was about six years old, I was out uh, wading in the ocean with my father. Okay. And a wave knocked me down. Okay. And I went underwater and I froze. Okay. Um, the only thing I could think of to do was to raise my right hand mm -hmm. and call for him. Mm -hmm. Not really effective when you're completely submerged. Okay. So um, the result, of course, you, as you can understand, would just, I just had this inrush of water into my, into me, my lungs, my my mouth, everything. Mm -hmm. um, he did get the idea that I needed help and pull me up. Mm -hmm. um, and though the whole event still pretty, pretty clear in yeah. my mind. Um, and it's, um, it's been a barrier for me for, for doing things like enjoying being in the ocean. I've, got, I've made some huge steps recently, mm -hmm. I will say that. Um, or I, I grew up um, not able to go in a swimming pool unless I had my feet on the bottom. I'm not okay. able to swim. Um, I get very anxious if I start getting that place where the water's rising. And I just feel I've, I've missed out on a lot of things I'd like to do and, can, and do and not have to wear, well, you know, a flotation belt to be in a pool. Sure. <laughs> you know, I'd like to learn to swim so I can get some exercise. There's just some things I'd like to do. Okay, great. So, um, I mean, that gives me a pretty good goal, uh, idea of what your goals are, what you want to okay. get out of doing this work, which, okay. is, which is an important part of this. And I have enough of the memory that we can work with. Okay. And just to affirm, like we talked about yesterday, um, this is this is pretty single incident. You're not identifying mm -hmm. any developmental trauma, any no. complex trauma issues. No. No. So, and that's one of the reasons I feel comfortable doing this demo style. Okay, so let's review a little bit, moving on to preparation, um, mm -hmm. a bit about your coping skills. Mm -hmm. So what do you use for what we've been talking about, coping, stabilization, mm -hmm. grounding? Mm -hmm. Tell me some of that. I do a lot of um, the breathing. Okay. I, I use mindful walking. Nice. I, I put myself through some, not put myself, that's not the way to say it. Uh -huh. I use that skill prior to our, my coming back in the room after lunch. Nice. Um, stretching, sort of some pressure points on my shoulders because I was feeling the tension come up here. Um, and just trying to stay calm and watch my breathing. And Nice. Do you do any kind of visualization or no? Not as, not as a routine, no. Not as a routine. No, I do that with clients, but I've not okay. done it for myself. Were you able to do the light stream that we did yesterday yes, as a group? Yes, okay. I was. So what I would like to do for this preparation is have you show me one of your breath strategies. We'll do that first. 
Then I'd like to review the light stream exercise with you mm -hmm. as a way to test out the, the bilateral that we're going to be doing okay. as part of the EMDR. Okay. Uh, and then we'll also come up with a few other safety measures that if, for example, what you want to signal if you want to stop, um, we'll get there. Okay. All right. Okay. So let's, uh, let's start with the breathing. So you can close your eyes or leave them open. Uh, just come into a breath pattern that works really well for you. And give yourself a couple sets to do that. What are you noticing now? I'm more calm. More calm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just to orient you, that is a question we use a lot in EMDR. What are you noticing now? Mm -hmm. So after I apply the stimulus, it's, I, it, it's almost going to sound exhaustive that I ask mm -hmm. you that question, what mm -hmm. are you noticing now? And it's intended that way to be very open-ended. So whatever is there, like you just said, I'm calm. It could be I'm seeing this image or I'm noticing this sensation. So whatever is you're most aware of, mm -hmm. that's what I want. And I'll help guide you to that, through that, if you have questions as okay. we go. Okay. All right, so um, let's go to, I think it's awesome you did some mindful walking before this. Um, that's a nice strategy you can take Thank with you, you from the office. So let's, um, let's go to that light stream imagery. Mm -hmm. So I'll walk you through a couple points of it. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna use this as a chance to start testing out the bilateral stimulation. Okay. So let's get a few things set before we even do that. So the first thing we have to test is the distance. So we'll start this with eye movements. And if for some reason you can't track the eye movements, we'll go over to tapping. Okay. So tell me when it feels too close. That's too close. Okay. Is here good? That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's just do a couple test sets to test the speed. Nice. And I have the option to do them horizontally or diagonally. Were you able to track? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Yes. All right, so let's come into the light stream. And for the actual visualization parts, you can close your eyes or leave them open. Mm -hmm. At a few intervals, I'm going to invite you to, to follow the fingers. So you'll let me know when to open my I'll eyes. I'll let you know. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right, so take a moment and just allow that light, that color, to come into focus. Maybe imagine it form at the top of your head. And with your breath, allow that light to begin moving either through your body or over your body. Whatever feels better for you. And what are you noticing? My heartbeat. Okay. I can actually see in my eyes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is that something, what's that like for you? It's nice to know it's beating. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's calming. It's calming? It's comfortable. All right, so go ahead, open your eyes, and let's just notice that, that my, my heart is beating, and it's calming.
Nice deep breath. And staying with this idea of the light stream or the color stream. Begin to notice if there are any other sensory details. Is there a color? You don't have to answer, just these are just guidelines. Is there a color, a texture, a temperature? Maybe a sound or a smell? Warmth. Warmth? All right, let's notice warmth as you go ahead and follow my fingers. And what are you noticing now? Relaxed. Relaxed. All right, let's do one more set to strengthen that. Relaxed. So this light is available to us at any time. If you want to stop while we're doing the processing on the target, mm -hmm. if we run out of time and we need to close the session down, mm -hmm. does this light feel like something we can come to mm -hmm. that would help you mm -hmm. kind of soothe again? I think so, yes. All right. Any kind of cue name you want to put on it, like my light, my the color. you don't have to. You can just say the light but some people like to name their light. Think pink. Think pink? Mm -hmm. Let's do one set here just with that. Think pink. Okay. And nice deep breath. All right, nice work. Thank you. So two other orientation things I want to cover. The first is, did you like the horizontal or did you think you might prefer the diagonal? I think I like the horizontal. Horizontal, mm -hmm. okay. And the other thing is, I want to come up with a signal with you mm -hmm. that might indicate, I want to stop this. This is too much, it's more than I bargained for. Mm -hmm. Now what's interesting is you held up the stop sign during the memory itself, so I'm wondering if you can give me something else. Oh, good point. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. A like, different sign. Mm -hmm. Like, Jamie, this is too much. I, I want to come back to my light. And a lot of people will tell us that, they, mm. that they're that they done, but some we like to have the signal there just to be safe. Um, would a gesture work? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yep. We'll go with that if, okay. if you do need to stop. I don't to want stop. to repeat the other one because yep. it's attached it to it. It is attached yeah, to it. And I'll point. just clarify if I see you do this, if you want to come back to light or not. Okay. And the other thing I want to test is, so when we're in the trauma processing here, mm -hmm. the speed is going to be a little faster. Mm -hmm. So I want to do just a test set before I set this up to make sure you kind of know how it's going to change. Okay. So go ahead and follow my fingers. You weren't kidding. Yeah. Can you track it? Mm-hmm. All right. And I can go wider, too, or narrower. I don't know if you notice a difference either mm -hmm. way. We can do a little wider. We could try that. That's a little more difficult. We may need to narrow that stitch. That's OK. That'll work, I think. OK, that'll work? I think so, All right. yeah. And if at any time you're, you're into this, but it's just hurting you to do the eyes, let me know. And I would have to move my chair a little closer and touch you, but I okay. could come over to tapping. Okay. So if that is what you want, just let me know as okay. we go. Okay, I'll do that. All right, so let's get rolling. 
So, yeah, I'm going to take a sip of your tea. tea. That sounds good. All right. So bringing up your target memory mm -hmm. of being age six, this experience at the ocean that mm -hmm. you told me about during your history. Mm -hmm. In this moment, when you bring that into your awareness, is there an image that's coming up for you that represents the worst part of this particular target? There's one that's the most candid. I'm not sure if it's the worst part, but it's the most candid one. Go ahead. Um, as I'm laying on my back, mm -hmm. I can see out towards the ocean, and I'm watching the pebbles, the sand, move. Mm -hmm. I can see the sunlight above me, sort of, but I can't, it can, these sandals, these pebbles can move. I cannot move. Okay. So holding that image, mm -hmm. what is a negative belief about yourself that you associate with that image? It's usually an I am or an I am not statement. Examples might include I'm powerless, I'm helpless, I'm, I'm trapped. Okay, it's an identification phrase. Yes. It's not, a, not, a, not an emotion phrase. Yeah. It's an identif very good way to distinguish. I want to be sure. Yeah. Um, I'm powerless. Okay. What would you like to believe now instead of I am powerless? I'm powerful. Okay. So how true does that statement feel? I am powerful at the gut level in this mm -hmm. moment, one to seven. This is a weird Shapiro scale. So one is completely false, seven is completely true. So that's the scale. Here's the question. How true at the gut level does it feel that I am powerful, even when you see that image? So we're talking about when I see the image. Yeah. So it's now looking back. Okay, I want to make sure I'm, I'm yeah. in the right time zone. It's yeah. confusing. No, that's okay. Yeah. So one is powerless and seven is powerful. Yeah, what, well, one would be if I am powerful is the goal, one is completely false, seven is completely true. If powerful is the goal, mm -hmm. one is completely false, in the moment, I'm one. Okay. So what emotions are you noticing right now as we bring up the image and that negative belief, I am powerless? Fear. Okay. Um, I think terror might be okay. a better descriptor. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So now another scale she asks us to use. This is the classic zero to 10. If zero is no distress or neutral, mm -hmm. 10 is the worst you can imagine. Mm -hmm. Where would you rate your distress in this moment as you see that image and hold that negative belief? I am powerless. An eight. Okay. And what are you noticing in your body? Um, my shoulders are contracting. Okay. I think they're starting to rise up to my ears. I'm not sure, but it's starting to feel like that. Yeah. My breathing is getting more shallow. Okay. Um, my facial expression's changing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So notice all of those body sensations, and we're gonna get rolling now. Okay. Just gonna read back a few things to you. So notice those body sensations. Pair those together, or notice those together with your image. You're seeing out towards the ocean. The pebbles can move, but you cannot. Mm -hmm. So those body sensations, that image, and the negative belief that I am powerless. And just notice whatever it is you notice, Madeline, as I begin the stimulation.
breath. Good, yeah. What are you noticing now? During that process? Right mm -hmm. now, in this moment. You don't have to give me the whole mm -hmm. thing, just right mm -hmm. now. Anxious? Okay. Um, frozen? Okay. Like I can't move. Okay, so the phrase we use with EMDR is go with that. So what I mean by go with that is just notice frozen. Yeah. Continue to follow the stimulation and let's see what else happens. Okay. a breath. What are you getting now? So like I'm panting. Okay. Really shallow, fast breaths. Okay. Keep going with that. Keep noticing that. Dad. Keep going. Are you okay to keep going? Mm -hmm. okay. Keep going. I didn't want to breathe. Okay. Anything else you're noticing right now? Like my lungs can't take air in. Okay. Go with so that. I'm really shallow. Go with that. Mm -hmm.
keep noticing. I'm on my feet. Okay. What else are you noticing? I want to get out of the water. Okay. I can't get out there fast enough. Okay. Go with that. I'm crying. Okay. Can you notice that? Yeah. And I am angry. Okay. Go with angry. I have to take a breath. Take a breath. What are you noticing now? Confusion. Okay. Questioning. Mm -hmm. Go with that? Mm hmm.
What are you getting? What are you noticing? I'm wondering. I have a question. Okay. Of me, or just you have no. a question coming up? Okay. A question coming up. So not, this is not yep. about you. Go with the okay. question then. Just wanted to clarify. Mm -hmm. What are you noticing? Um, it still gets back to that question. Okay. I'm never going to get an answer to it. Okay. I know that. Okay. Let's go with that. Okay. What are you getting? An answer I heard. Mm -hmm. He thought I would sit up. Okay. Go with that. Mm -hmm. Go with that. Mm -hmm. What are you noticing? It wasn't intentional. Go with that. Mm -hmm. It wasn't intentional. Mm -hmm. Breath. 
What are you noticing now, Madeline? He pulled me up. Mm -hmm. Go with that. Mm -hmm. What are you getting? I'm here. Yeah, go with that. I survived. I'm here. I survived. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Go cool. We'll that. go with that one, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. What are you getting? At the end, I was safe. Okay, go with that. What are you getting? No need to hang on to this any longer. <laughs> Is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like why? Yeah, that. Like why do that? And then we'll check in on a few things. Just yeah. let's do a set with that. Okay. What you getting? It's starting to feel peaceful. Good. Um, notice that. I'm starting to feel peaceful. And maybe see, is there anything else that's still lingering? Or is it just we have to let ourselves sink into the peace? Probably need to sink into the peace. So, Can we do that? Yep. Let's go keep with that. going with that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go with peace.
What are you getting? I don't need to be afraid of the water. Go with that and hold up your hands like that. <laughs> yep, I love it. <laughs> love it. Yeah. And let anything else that needs to happen movement wise mm -hmm. happen. Mm -hmm. Cool. Cool. So let's go back to the original target image. Mm -hmm. Where would you rate your distress with it in this moment, zero to 10? If zero is nothing or neutral, 10 is the worst you can imagine. Neutral, nothing. Okay. So let's go just to, yeah, it's just a memory. Neat. Nice. That's awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> So that's the desensitization part. Now here's the reprocessing part. Okay. So your positive cognition that you wanted to come to of I am powerful, does that still fit or is there another one that seems like it's an even better fit? Let me think on that a minute. Sure. Take a moment. I think what might be a better thing to work on is the feeling of safety in the water. Okay. Because I think we're going to do work? that. Yeah, we're I'm going to do, do a, okay. a little future template here. But okay. right in this moment, in I am moment? powerful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How true would you say that feels? One to seven. If one is completely false, seven is completely true. I think we're moving. I think we're pretty much to like a five and a six. Okay. So in this next pass, I just want you to ask yourself, what keeps it from being a seven? Am I feeling completely powerful? Mm-hmm. Am I feeling powerful? Just go with that. Just see what, what keeps it from being a seven. Okay. Uh, What'd you get? I couldn't sit up. Go with that. Breath. What are you noticing? I was too afraid to sit up. Okay, let's go with that. It's okay. That's okay. Mm -hmm. What are you getting? We did the best we could at the time. Go with that. We did the best we could at the time. Mm -hmm. breath.
What you getting? It's okay. It's okay? All right. Let's do a set with it's okay. <coughs> so in this moment, I am powerful. If one is completely false, seven is completely true. In this moment, looking back, how true does that statement feel to you? In this moment? Yeah. Seven. Okay. So go with that. Hold that true statement, that completely true statement, I am powerful, mm -hmm. together with the original image. Notice what you notice. Interesting. Yep. Take a breath. What are you noticing? I could sit up. I mean, if, if. Yeah. Go with that. How simple. Yep. <laughs> no, not simple. <laughs> What are you getting? I'm sitting up. I'm sitting up. All right, so scan your body from head to toe. And if there's any odd or unusual disturbances, let me know. If it feels pretty neutral, pretty mm -hmm. clear. Mm -hmm. How would you describe I'm it? check something. Okay. You wanna check something? I'm checking something. Okay. That's one of my fascinating. This is very fascinating. My scientist side looking. Okay. Wow. That's amazing. What do you notice in there? Before we started, uh -huh. I had golf balls living in there. Yeah. They're they're not there. There's a little soreness from where they were. Mm -hmm. this, this was going on. I was having almost like someone was taking a poker yeah. in, my, in my muscle. So there's some soreness there. <laughs> wow. Notice they're gone. What are you getting? I hope this lasts. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's test it out. Let me just <laughs> check our time real quick. That would be nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. we got plenty of time. So hold this kind of clear body scan together with I am powerful. Let's start there. So clear body scan together with I am powerful. Okay, give me a second. Take your time. Mm -hmm.
What are you getting? I like the feeling. I like the feeling. Cool. All right. So you said, I hope this lasts. So bring up a future scenario for me of maybe some place mm. you would like to go in the water, but have always kind of stopped yourself mm. short. Do you mm -hmm. got a place? Mm -hmm. Okay. Not hard. Not hard. All right. So whatever that place is, bring it up in your memory, maybe picture or in your mind, maybe picture what you would like to be doing there. Mm -hmm. How true does I am powerful feel at your gut level in this moment, one to seven, as you notice that place and what you want to do there? One is completely false. Seven is completely true. Probably about a five. Okay. Uh, which is an improvement. Which is an improvement. So oh, we're going to do a set here, but the same question. What keeps it from being a seven? What keeps it from being totally true? Okay. Let's go with that. What are you getting? I don't know that it's not that it's that is true that I'm the reality is mm -hmm. is I can't sit here and know mm -hmm. that that's the truth because mm -hmm. I haven't tried it. So is I, your intention to try it? Yes. So go with that. That okay. it's my intention to try this. Okay. <laughs> If you can, maybe visualize it happening. Okay. What are you getting? I'm in the pool and to my toes are not touching the bottom. You're in the pool. Mm -hmm. Two of your toes are not touching the no, bottom. No, my toes aren't touching. Okay. I'm just you can see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Go with that. I'm just there. I'm just there. Mm -hmm. What are you getting? I can do this. I could do this. Mm -hmm. I am powerful. How true would you rate it? One to seven? Seven. Go with seven. Is this right. feeling like a good place to wrap this up? Mm -hmm. All right. So anything you feel we need to do to close? Any breath strategies, the visualization? I think I just want to shake out some things here. Go for it. Shake out some things. Cobwebs. Cobwebs. Love it. <laughs> I don't think so. I think it's good. Okay. So just a couple notes I like here. Where I am. Sorry? I like where I am. Like where I am. Mm -hmm. Nice. 
So processing, it's normal for processing to continue at least a little bit after mm -hmm. a session like mm -hmm. this is over. So mm -hmm. if you continue to have thoughts and feelings come up, mm -hmm. I would advise you to continue noticing them, use your breath to help you support them. Okay. Also possible that dream content tonight mm -hmm. may feel similar to this because you spent so much work on this. Mm -hmm. And I would advise you, like I would a client, to keep using your skills in between session. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing I would do if this was more of a clinical setting, this mm -hmm. is the part we call reevaluation, mm -hmm. is I would really encourage you and say, so when are you going to go and do this thing you want to do? This weekend. This weekend. Okay. So next week, would you be okay to check back in with me? Sure. And let me know how it went this weekend. Since this is demo, you can email me. <laughs> you okay. You can call me because I'd like to hear about it. Yeah. And if anything new should have surfaced mm -hmm. during that experience, because mm -hmm. that's always possible to happen. Like, mm -hmm. wait, I never considered this part of it. Mm -hmm. Then in the next session, we can, can go back into some of that okay. um, or come up with a plan since it'll be distance at this point right, for, right. for figuring it out. Right. So thank you for your hard work and thank let's you. give her a hand. Thank you for your work.